Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something a little different, you know, I usually do uh, the time lapses, but um, I just got this and I just wanted to go through it with you guys and kind of give you my first impressions of Joanna Bassford's 2024 weekly coloring planner. So it's full year calendar broken down into the work week and each week let me slide this over here. Each week has a, a little picture that corresponds to it. And some of these are really pretty. So I just thought we'd kind of flip through a little bit and kind of look at the, the pictures and kind of see what this is. The paper itself, I mean, you can see it's very, very firm. You can hear it. So a lot of little little pictures very very easy coloring for the week i think you know some of them are definitely smaller more detailed like these flowers here are super tiny let me I'll bring this up to the camera a little bit more so you can see like look how tiny these are for the for the details right like that's so small which means you're going to want to have very sharp points but they're very pretty pictures so and the whole calendar is like this, like every every week has a new picture. So maybe my goal for 2024 is gonna to be to color each of these each week and have them as part of my, my monthly uh, finished pages review. So let's see, so we're up to, did I miss a page? No, we're good, okay. That's really pretty. Ooh, this windmill is super cute. Looks like little waffles. I can picture like a maple syrup dripping all over those fan blades with the little balloons inside. It's very cute. One of my goals for 2024 is I want to learn to get better at backgrounds and possibly learn to draw a bit. I've never drawn. I've never been um, into drawing or backgrounds. Um, you'll notice most of uh, the the coloring pages that I finished, I either leave the background completely white or it's a single color. I, I haven't le really learned to do like those very cool gradient backgrounds. Oh, this is opportunity for mega color right there with these little flowers. But yeah, I need to work on the backgrounds and, and drawing. I just, I've never gotten that down because it's, it's something that was new to me. Um, I grew up in a house where my mom was always like two things. One, I had to color every page in the book because if I didn't, I was wasting money. And two, uh, one block, one color. She, she didn't like, I, she said it was wasteful. So she set me back quite a bit, but I've been trying to get out of a lot of these habits as I've gotten more into the adult coloring world. So, you know, every, every day it's uh, slightly better. You know, the, the works improve, you know, but for the calendar here so far, I mean, we're already into July. Those unicorns are cute. But yeah, I wanna learn to draw. I don't wanna get better at like color gradients and stuff. So those are two things that I wanna continue to work on here. And this, this book looks like it, it actually has a really good opportunity because some of these are so small to practice things like color transitions and shading and um, working on some of my layering techniques. So, um, goodness. Yeah, there's so much cute stuff in here to color. I can see why this would be uh, something that people would want to, even if you're only able to color a page, I mean, the pages are kind of small. I mean, the book itself is, let me see here. So this is uh, Teresa Goodridge, uh, Autumn Charm from the Creative Haven series. You can see how much bigger this book is than the planner. So the, the pages between the two, you can see there's a, a big, a pretty significant size difference between the two. So these look like something that, you know, even a very busy individual could probably try and knock out on a weekly basis. Ah, this is the page for, for the week of my birthday. Very cool. I love the little solar system looking thing here. That, that's very appropriate. 
Okay, so we're almost done. We're getting into the spoopy season. It's very, very ornate. It's not a... This is a very good opportunity here, I think, to make some colors pop. Because there's not a lot around it. It's also got all the space in the center. So you could do one background on the inside, one on the outside. So again, good practice. Same with the jellyfish here. Oh, what? No SpongeBob living in the pineapple? Oh, nice little uh, sugar skull for uh, for the Halloween week. Very nice. Oh, a little spider there. A little cart there. Coming up on some American Thanksgiving. And we've got some sea life here. Very neat, very kind of, this, this picture is giving me kind of like a steampunk vibe. And Christmas, some Christmas pictures, nice little ornament there. Oh, look at all those packages, those Christmas presents, all with the different patterns and stuff. My, my, my creative brain is just going into overdrive, all right? You got stars, you got swoops, you got, I think that's suns, snowflakes. So much stuff you can do here. So much. Very, very festive Christmas here. Very simple, very clean. Lots of opportunity. These pictures are gorgeous. They're, they're gonna be so much fun to color. Oh, well, it's got, you know, some uh, pages obviously and then 2025 calendar there, your obvious notes and a couple pages. And then you've got a test page in the back. Overall, this is pretty cool. Um, just came out, I mean, I don't know when it came out. I just saw it um, at the store. It was, you know, 17 bucks, so I had to pick it up. But uh, it's, it's really nice. Um, and of course the cover, if you notice the, the cover page, it's, it's slightly thicker than the inside, but it's colorable. So you actually can color the front and back pages as well of this book. So yeah, overall, this is adorable. Um, I'm looking forward to 2024. I'm very, I, I wanna dive into it now, but I, I'm gonna refrain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold myself back. We, we will wait, we will tackle this when January comes. But uh, I'll leave a link to this in, uh, in the description. Um, but yeah, it looks like a, a very fun year of coloring and I'm looking forward to showing you guys the completed pages, so. You know, I think that's going to be it for today. If you like the video, of course, subscribe, leave a like, you know, it helps the channel. Um, if you want it, again, the link will be in the description. And uh, have a very colorful rest of your day.